In today's interconnected world, the significance of cybersecurity has reached paramount levels. As technology continues to advance at an unprecedented pace, so do the risks and threats lurking in the digital landscape. Recently, in April 2023, the Shields Healthcare Group, a medical service provider located in Massachusetts, experienced the most significant data breach. Towards the end of the month, reports surfaced revealing that an individual involved in cybercrime had illicitly accessed the organization's systems and successfully obtained the personal information of approximately 2.3 million individuals. Organizations and individuals alike are realizing the critical need for qualified professionals who possesses the skills to defend against cyber attacks. One such certification that has gained widespread recognition is the Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH certification. So in this video on step-by-step -step guide to crack CEH exam, we will be covering various topics like why CEH, what is CEH, exam eligibility criteria for CEH and how to prepare for CEH exam. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. So which of the following terms describes an individual who gains unauthorized access to computer systems with malicious intent? Option A is white hat hacker, option B is black hat hacker, option C is gray hat hacker and option D is script kiddie. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. Now let's start with the first topic which is why CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker. So there is a high demand for cyber security experts in various businesses. To hire these experts, organizations have certain requirements. These professions need to have a good understanding of security concepts and be familiar with the latest tools, processes and frameworks to stay ahead of cyber criminals and prevent data breaches. Certifications like CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker offered by EC Council play a significant role in this scenario. The CEH programming is designed to train ethical hackers comprehensively, covering the latest hacking trends and introducing professionals to technologies that help prevent data breaches. This certification is recognized globally, meaning your skills and knowledge will be valued by organizations around the world, regardless of your location. The course instructs participants on practical strategies that can be used in real-life situations and future careers. The CEH exam focuses on understanding how malicious individuals exploit weaknesses in addition to offering promising job prospects. The CEH certification training provides a wealth of knowledge that is not easily obtained through other information security courses. So if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cybersecurity by graduating from the best universities, then try giving a shot at Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity with modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. The link is in the description box that will navigate to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. Also, have a look at what our learners has to say about the course. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples. It was led by highly skilled certified instructors with many companies before as a, as a security analyst and the architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on a first. Now let us understand about this Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH exam. So the CEH exam focuses on theoretical understanding and does not involve hacking actual systems. It emphasizes comprehension of hacking concepts, tools and methodologies. However, to obtain the CEH master's designation, you must also pass a 6 hour practical exam with 20 challenges. This exam evaluates your practical application of knowledge and skills in real life scenarios. But that's a choice if you want to apply for masters. So the CEH exam is 4 hours long. The exam consists of 125 multiple choice questions. The passing score required for certification varies depending on the specific exam. Some exams state in passing score as a percentage while others base it on the difficulty of questions and the knowledge or skills needed to demonstrate competence in the subject. The actual cut score determined by subject matter experts depends on the difficulty of the questions and ensures fairness in evaluation skills. If you encounter more challenging questions, fewer correct answers are needed to pass while an easier set of questions requires higher percentage of correct answers. 
Thus, performance relative to the passing standard can be higher even with fewer correct answers in a difficult question set. So now let's have a look at the sections. So the sections covered in the program includes section number one, that is background. Then there is section number two, which is analysis or assessment. Then there is section number three, security. Then comes section number four, tools, systems and programs. Section five is procedures and methodology. Section six is regulation and policy. Section seven is ethics. So this was about the CEH exam. Now let's have a look at its eligibility criteria. So the eligibility criteria for CEH exam. Before you start preparing for CEH exam, it's important to meet certain requirements. Firstly, you must show this EC council that you have at least two years of experience in information security and a specialization in that field through your educational background. Additionally, keep in mind that the CEH exam has a cost of 100 US dollars and make sure you fulfill these criteria before moving forward to avoid wasting your time. So this was about the eligibility criteria for CEH exam. Now let's understand how to prepare for CEH exam. So the first step in preparing for CEH exam is joining a forum. So there are many online forums and blogs dedicated to CEH where people with similar interests and goals gather. These forums are filled with individuals who are either preparing for CEH exam or have already taken it. They share valuable tips, strategies and general advice based on their experiences. By participating in these forums, you can interact with other CEH students and professionals. This allows you to exchange knowledge and discover each other's strengths and weaknesses. It's a great way to identify areas where you may need to improve your understanding. Remember, what one person is good at, another person may struggle with. Through discussions on the forum, you can learn from others and reinforce your own knowledge through repetition, which helps with better retention. The second thing you can do is create important topics checklist. So once you have identified the areas where you lack knowledge as a hacker, it's important to make a checklist of study topics. Prioritize the topics that need more attention. Don't forget to allocate some study time to the topics you already know. It's always beneficial to reinforce and refresh your existing knowledge. However, the main focus should be on addressing the knowledge gaps first. Once you have addressed those gaps, you can revisit the other topics later. Along with this, you can also take up EC Council Certification Assessment. EC Council Certification Assessment refers to the international evaluation process conducted by the International Council of Electronic Commerce Consultants. The certification assessment typically involves an examination that accesses the candidate's understanding of the relevant concepts, tools, and best practices in their chosen certification track. The exam is educational and the questions are beneficial for studying purposes. Using the training platform, the candidate can access their levels of readiness and analyze their preparedness for the exam. Along with taking self-assessment, you can also take help from study guides. While we emphasize the importance of not relying solely on books, it cannot be denied that books hold a wealth of knowledge. When preparing for the CH exam, it is essential to thoroughly read the recommended books. This approach will address all your what and why questions regarding cybersecurity and ethical hacking. The content provided in these books is of top quality, offering precise definitions, descriptions, and diagrams for almost every topic. We suggest dedicating at least one hour daily to study in order to grasp all the concepts covered in the training. So by understanding the exam objectives, setting up study plan, utilizing quality resources, and reviewing your weak areas, you are well equipped for success. Remember to stay focused, manage your time effectively, and maintain a positive mindset throughout your preparation. With dedication and perseverance, you can confidently approach the CH exam and achieve your certification goals. Alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this topic. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.